in this game. Yeah. He talks to the emotions of. of well, you want to start? Want to start? Where do you want to start from? First hitter of the game. <laughs> the walk. Well, I'll we'll replay it. Talk about the, the ninth inning bases loaded for Imac out there. Well, <clears throat> first of all, I thought you know set up by Jake Cave had a great at bat against a you know a premier closer. That guy's got real stuff. Uh, you know, upwards of 100 miles an hour with a, with a good breaking ball. And Jake had a great at bat, took it to 3 2, and then took the breaking ball for ball four. I think that set the tone. And then erratic to, to Rogers and, uh, you know, came back to Jones and uh, full count again to Jones. And I got to look with that 3 2 pitch, another breaking ball that had to be outside. Uh, you know, you don't see that, right, from a, you know, from a closer, right? A guy who's done it before, he's, you know, he's pretty good. But, you know, Jake had a good at bat. Uh, Jones had a good at bat. They brought in Adam, who's a he's a legit reliever too. We saw him in the WBC last year. He's a good one. Uh, three good sliders to KB. Then he hung one to bat. So uh, what an emotional game, right? We we came back. You know, big homer from Tobar to give us the lead. <clears throat> Bryant topped it off, give us a four-run lead. Look good, right? Lawrence, uh, who's only pitched once, is fresh. You know, we love his stuff. He's got two weapons, but the slider wasn't there today for him. You know, it happens. It's uh, unfortunate. Big crowd, home opener, big day in Colorado. Uh, nobody feels, uh, you know, worse than Justin. And he'll talk about it. He'll talk to you guys. But, uh, again, I thought we put some at-bats on him. Then Mac, you know, got the breaking ball and put him in the seats. Emotion, no doubt about it. But a good one. We needed that one. Based on what you said, how we started this how we started the season after uh, seven games. Buddy, the uh, uh, three hits today, uh, what's changed uh, for him as far as his average and dropping the strikeout yeah, rates? Yeah, I think with Mac, it's the two-strike approach. I think he's really, we've talked about that a lot. And, and Mac's been one of the guys here early on in, in eight games where, you know, he's taken to another level of, of, of taking some leadership about the two-strike approach. We still have some young guys who have a tendency to chase the breaking ball. We've talked about it. Uh, we got to be a little tougher with two strikes than Mac is one guy who's who's done it. And so is Montero. I think Montero only has three uh, three punch outs and I think three walks this year. Monty's doing a decent job too uh, there with, uh, with a two-strike approach. So, but Mac, Mac's having good at He had good at-bats in Arizona, but he had good at-bats in Chicago. And he had some good ones. But two comebacks today, a comeback in the last game right. that didn't quite work out. What do you think this says about your team's ability? To well, I think KB it? said it yesterday. I think I read a quote that you know our guys, you know our guys aren't gonna, we're not gonna melt. We're gonna keep playing. It's a good group of guys. Uh, those of you guys who are around this group every day uh, know the character of this group and the and the and the want to. Uh, you know, we got some young guys who are still, you know. You know, working their way through the big part of their career. We have some older guys who are providing some mentorship and leadership. But uh, it was a good, it was a good rally in Chicago. Fell short, and then uh, today, you know, uh, you know, Gombe hung in there <laughs> through four innings after a really, really hard first inning. Uh, if he didn't go four, you know, it could have could have got out of hand early. But he hung in there. So. I mean, again, I thought a super, super team win. I mean, a lot of contributions. Uh, bullpen did a nice job, obviously. I mean, Justin had a tough one, but you know, there's a lot of uh, a lot of praise to go around to a number of those guys in there. I hope you catch a number of those guys in there to talk to. I want to talk about Austin Gomber. Those first two innings, that pitch count got so high, but he really reeled it yeah. in for the third and the fourth. What were you seeing from that? Well, again, I thought his stuff was his normal stuff. You know, fastball, you know, 89 to 91. Uh, Looked like some again. I gotta look at the video, but talking to you know, he was just missing some inside fastballs to the right. He's missing on the slider a little bit. Uh, what uh, for the first couple of innings, 16, 17 foul balls, right? He just couldn't, uh, you know, couldn't put a number of the guys away. He ended up with I think seven strikeouts in in four innings, which is you know, you think that you know, it's power pitcher stuff, but uh, you know, he hung in there and he battled. He didn't, uh, he didn't, he didn't, uh, he didn't wilt. Um, you know, that was, I mean, it's crazy it sounds. Those were like four pretty good innings. Buddy, um, you've done it all, you've seen it all in this league. How many years did the last week of baseball take off your life? 
You know, I, I don't, you know, it, you know, I've been through those stretches before. I think you, you look at, uh, you know, you look at, you know, when, you, when the season gets underway, you look at, you know, look at all of baseball, right? And you look at the last, you know, there's a column in there in the standings that says last 10, right? And there's some stretches where all teams, you know, have a bad 10 days, have a bad 10 games. Uh, we didn't have a good, we didn't have a good seven games. You know, we didn't play great in Arizona. We didn't pitch well, too many walks. We made some miscues in the field. We didn't swing the bats, with the exception of, you know, Mac uh, got off to a good start. But besides that, it was a little rough. Chicago, you know, we battled. Again, we walked too many guys from the mound. Uh, a couple misplays cost us, but, you know, I, you know, I think the strength of our team should be our defense, right? We got <clears throat> just, just sprinkling some gold glovers in there, some gold glove finalists, and we need to play good defense, right? Uh, especially here, especially anywhere, it doesn't matter. But uh, it was hard because you want to get off to a good start. And we played good in spring training. You know, I think we, we won the most games in the Cactus League. And I'm not saying that, and that doesn't mean anything, I mean, for me. But I thought we played well coming out of Scottsdale. Uh, just didn't carry over. You know, we faced Gowan, we faced Car uh, Kelly, good, two good pitchers. Uh, we bounced back to third game, you know, scored nine runs, didn't do well in the, on the Sunday afternoon game, went to Chicago. Uh, you know, they played well. Uh, I think they won again today, I saw. They got a scrappy team. But we got to scrap right back, which we will. Buddy, um, I think this is year eight for you in, in this ballpark, or man right. in this ballpark. Um, does it get any easier to no. deal with the highs and the lows? No, I mean you sort of expect you sort of expect it uh, that that some crazy things can happen. You know, I've seen it <clears throat> again. This is you know we you know it, it affects the other team too. You know, maybe more so than us at times, because uh, I've lived that from the other side where you know some players come in, hitters you know relish coming here. You know, they look forward to it. Pitchers, not so much. So I don't, you know, what happened today with their, you know, with their premium guy at the end, I'm not sure. But, uh, you know, we, I've seen this happen, this type of game. How's your voice? It sounds like that. Yeah, I was yelling a lot. I was yelling with my opinion over a number of things. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, buddy. Uh, just, uh, you know, the reaction from the crowd to uh, Chris Bryant, who's, you know, going through yeah. speaking of ups and downs. Sure. Your your thoughts on that, and how do you? Yeah, what do you, uh, do to talk you know, to well, you know, I'll talk to KB. I mean, KB's been around a long time. Uh, you know, he knows he knows his place on this team uh, and the responsibility of that. I mean, he gets it. Right, he played in the big market, uh, rookie of the year, National League MVP, World Series champion. Uh, you know, he understands the highs. And, uh, you know, today, you know, there was, uh, you know, we heard it, but he's got a lot of pride. He's got a lot of pride. He cares a lot. Uh, you know, professional athletes uh, in some ways are conditioned to this. They get it. The good ones get it. The guys with perspective get it. And you keep, you keep fighting through all that. It's part of what we do in this job. And we understand. So I think he'll be fine. I think he'll be fine. Hey, buddy, if I can follow up on over here. Yeah. If I can follow up on the KB question. Uh, Rymack was charged with the error in, right. down third. But sure. <coughs> KB should make that play, right, at first base? Well, it's, I mean, it's a, it's a throw in the dirt that I don't know whether every ball should, you're, you're insinuating that every ball in the dirt should be picked. No, but a, a little bit of yard. It's a tough, it's a pick. Okay. It's a tough play. Uh, but <clears throat> you know, if you were to ask Chris, he'd probably say, "Yeah, I gotta make, I gotta make that play. He'll stand up to that problem." But <clears throat> again, it's a low throw. It's in the dirt. Uh, but you know, it's still a, it's still a, it's still a hop that you have to make, right? And when you do, it's a, it's a nice, it's a nice athletic. Uh, yeah, I've understood you before you were, it's, it sounded like you were saying that it's a small sample size and th the kind of start to the season, that kind of stretch in the middle of the season may not seem as 
as troublesome. Um, does a win like today on a stage like this, an opening day, the first game at home, um, does that give you the ability to really reset the season? Well, it, 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 well not the season, yeah. play eight games. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> it gives the guys uh, a good feeling when they walk out of here and come back tomorrow. I mean, like I said, players are conditioned for a lot of different things. You know, they've been playing this game for a long, long time and have had heartache, setbacks, high emotions, uh, the whole deal. But it's one game, but it feels good. It feels good to get this one. This is a opening day in Colorado is a special day. Mike was saying, Mike Kliss was saying that this morning about getting a win today. Yeah. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah, what that means. There's something to that. And I and I and I believe that. So let's see how we come to come out tomorrow. Let's have Feldner come out and throw a good game. And uh, you know, we swing the bats, so I think we can swing the bats a little bit better than what we have been, but today was some you know good signs.